My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 25. We couldn't express our feelings or emotions because we were so young. Expressing ourselves through art helped us to get our emotions out, to be away from what was going on with mum and do it through drawing, painting and also music. So her name was Charlene. She was always so positive and that's how she did until the day she died. She found a lump in her left breast. Why would it happen to such a beautiful young mum at such a young age that had such a long life ahead of her? To be a mum of four young children, you can get cancer at any age. So it was very difficult to be such a young child, to have a parent that's in and out of hospital, other families are going on holidays. When she was transferred into a hospice palliative care, the care, support and love that the nurses, the staff, that supported not only the patient but the family was amazing. We were there for three months. We weren't able to be at home. I would go and do painting and do what a kid, you know, is supposed to do. If we hadn't have had her being in palliative care at Caritas Christi, we would have either kept her in the hospital setting, which was very daunting for us young children to see. We're at Caritas Christi, we had those extra supports. We had that time to be children, to go and do, you know, art therapy. Being able to express those emotions and feelings as a young child, we can comprehend it a lot better now as adults. Hi Claire, lovely to see you. Sometimes there's just no words to fully convey what the challenges are when someone you love is dying and being able to express it and what this means can be a great sense of release. It can help the sense of you being heard and your story being known. With Claire, my mum had such a strong connection with her and with her therapy. A part of the therapy was art therapy, me being the eldest and my siblings. And we come up with an idea to make um, four tiles to put together as a one piece um, design and to draw or paint something that was symbolic for our mum. And we've still got it and we still look back on it and it brings back so much memories, how us four kids were so close and stood by each other through that hard time. As adults, we still have that same bond. So that has a real significance of us four children being brought together with our artwork and with our emotions. I think the creative arts, the painting that the children did was also incredibly important to be able to symbolise what their mum meant to them and how she is living on. All gets conveyed in these pictures, in these stories that might be just too hard or you might not have the words to be able to express. You know, sometimes children can, you know, create a bit more easier than, than talking. And it's about getting to know the person. It's about them having an opportunity to get in touch with their life. I think it really helps when people feel that they're known. We, we connect with who they are and that's a really important thing to be doing. I think it, it can potentially connect people with how they live on, how their life has mattered and will continue to matter. I remember my mum coming home after having a session with Claire in the hospital. She said, Leah, I'm doing this song at Peter Mac. She had this paper in front of her. She said, this is from my heart. This is my true feelings. When my mum passed away, um, I reached out to Claire and I asked Claire if she could play the piano for me to sing my mum's song at my mother's funeral. 15 years after her passing, you know, to have those words that my mum wrote gives me the strength to carry on with my life and to be strong as a mother for my children and do what she would do if she was here.